Hey guys, so this is another first impressions video. This time it's for Amir. And I know guys, I know guys, I'm late to, for, for this video. But I really wanted to test some, some things out. I wanted also to get a, a few responses from the devs. I have not received them yet, but so we're doing it just how we have it here. But I, I'm pretty sure we're going to get the responses, responses by the time I do the, the update video for her, for sure. So... Skill, slow speed, usually pretty bad, deals 320% damage to the target and nearby enemies for 2 hits, with 25% chance of reviving the first dead, but reviving ally from left to right, 50% of red ally, plus resetting the ally's awaken effect and regenerating, so pretty much it's the same skill as uh, Raphael's ability, but for red heroes. So in this situation, um, the hero that is more to the left, uh, on the attack or on defense is the one that's going to have um, priority when reviving in that situation. So, yeah. So, that's the main thing. So, I highly recommend you to, guys to uh, put a, a red hero on the most left side so you can guarantee that's the one that that's good, the system is going to focus to actually uh, revive because I've, I've had the... Um, uh, the experience is that if I put a hero that is not the color that is supposed to, like 50%, it's going to focus on the one that it's on the most left. So, if for, and for example, if I have Mob 4 on the left side of the de of the attack or defense team, that this skill is going to focus on trying to revive Mob 4, not the hero that is next to him, even if it's red. So, you you guys got to gotta, gotta uh, keep an eye on that, uh, setting up your teams. Uh, especially, remember that just like Raphael, reviving heroes that have uh, a stone weapon on them, that's going to bring those those stones back to back to the board. Uh, I, I've shown it in, in past videos from, with, um, with Raphael. Uh, I revive... Uh, Apollo with the with the stone weapon and when he revives a bunch of stones start to appear on the board So I I make sure that the most left hero is is the one that has the stone weapon as well So that's another good thing that you can actually do with this. So whoever is uh, underestimating this skill Yeah, you better check yourself. This is pretty powerful stuff guys for sure uh, Let's see uh, plus resetting the allies awakening effects and regenerating 50% of its max HP and mana so pretty much the same ability as Raphael as well, but it doesn't mention really that it, that mana is added when you're revived. So in other words, if I revive um, a Gillian that is 50% mana, if she gets revived by this hero, she's going to come back with 100% mana. So that's pretty much what it means. So very powerful stuff, guys, in that situation. Especially if she's holding the stone weapon, um, the, the stone weapon to create even stones additional and have 100% mana right off the bat. So very powerful, very cool stuff, guys. Now, then guides all allies into the Primal Fire Realm for five turns. So this is the part that I've been waiting for. W Red does not have a realm hero that affects uh, your team. In other words, a team realm uh, for like, yeah, it, it doesn't exist, period. So this, since it affects your team, it will combo off with Agony's realm. Because the thing is that Agony's realm affects the enemy, so it's an enemy realm. So enemy realm and team realm together do work together very well. One for your team, one for the enemy. So very cool, guys. Very powerful stuff as well. Primal Fire Realm, when each turn begins, grants a fire shield equal to 32% of Amir's mass HP to all allies without a fire shield for three turns. The shield gains 50% against blue elemental damage and Amir... De okay, so let's talk about the shield first. Every freaking single turn, getting a shield. <laughs> that is going to be super annoying on defense if somebody doesn't have a shield breaker. So that's going to be very powerful stuff, guys, for sure. And this is an elemental shield. We've never seen that on a hero that you can actually control. But you're going to see... You, you've seen that a lot in campaign. Uh, pretty much... Uh, uh, elemental shields means that if it's a red shield, it's going to uh, receive 50% less damage from the color that does usually more damage to that color. So in other words, in this case, since it's a red shield, uh, it's going to t uh, receive 50% less damage from blues. So if you add this on a team that that is a mono red team on defense, yeah, and and, and you bring a, a a blue team to try to take it down, it's it's not gonna work as 
you think you're gonna first have to break the shields and then start hitting so yeah <laughs> if you don't bring your cool you're gonna bring a world of pain for you guys for sure in that situation so and Emir deals 96% counterattack damage to the target and nearby enemies when the shield is shattered. So this is interesting. Not always the shield gets broken, but if it does get broken, that's going to do that amount of damage to three heroes possibly in that situation. So that is pretty interesting. I've seen an action. It's not too too impressive, but however, when you actually combine it with the awakening, so this is what we're talking about here. The plus one when battle begins, pretty much the same thing as every single realm here in the game. Right off the bat, when you start when you start the fight, you get a realm right off the bat. However, enhanced primal fire realm, Emil deals counterattack damage to the target and nearby enemies when when granting a, sh a fire shield to allies already have it so pretty much every single turn she's gonna throw five of these most most of the time is gonna be five of these to a single target so this is pretty powerful guys this is the difference between not doing damage and doing actual damage so you can you, you can see that i have her at plus zero so yeah i'm still wanting to get her at least to plus one but it, uh, luck is not on my side but it but this changes her a lot you'll be able to do a lot more damage with her in this situation the plus two is eight percent plus five percent uh, less damage taken. So this is a nudge that uh, this is a hero that's usually meant to be on defense. The plus three enhanced primal fire realm, thirty percent shield power received by allies. Oh my god! So I. I I know a few players that's, that they're going to love this because the only thing that they stack on the runes is shield power over and over and over. They, they they even have it they even have it written down how much shield power they have to actually counteract uh, what war actually eliminates with shields and the, what the enemies have to yeah so so this is going to add a 30% additional to those numbers. So yeah. This is a good way to actually counteract uh, the stacks uh, in war on defense. So this is something you really need to take take into account if you don't eliminate the the pro the, the realm this is going to be a really big problem take it on the shields if you don't have a shield breaker of course the plus four is the same as the plus two and the plus five improved the chance of reviving red allies by a hundred percent and a successful and it and a successful revive red ally ge regenerates an extra 50 percent mana so in, that, in other words, in this situation, it's pretty much very similar to the um, to Raphael's plus five, which is it gives a hundred percent uh, chance to revive uh, a hero. However, this time it's for red, and you get the mana by a hundred percent. So if a, if a hero gets killed by, for example, goes off, gets killed by a counter, and then gets revived, is going to come back with a hundred percent mana. So that's pretty much yeah, that's pretty powerful stuff, guys, for sure. Now, gains immunity to death for three turns, very useful for defense, when dealt the fatal blow, and grants all allies a fire shield equal to 100% of its max HP for three turns. Oh. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Control your tough core. Control yourself. <laughs> you can't. You can't keep plus fiving heroes all the time. <laughs> okay, this is the type of plus five that I, that really gets me going because it's not just herself that, that uh, that's reviving. Remember that if you're gonna add this hero at plus five, you're gonna have a plus five agony. You're gonna have Haroth. You're gonna have Thor. You're gonna have a uh, Gillian all maxed out and ready to go. So agony is not gonna care that's only hers is gonna die but if she does die everyone gets that fire shield for a hundred percent so on top of Ag uh, uh, agony's protection if somebody tries to kill her first because they're gonna find uh, agony hard to kill with this gal around <laughs> yeah the, the i, I uh, the, the interactions are crazy man it's <laughs> i would love love to put this on my mono red team on, um in war to test this out Oh my god, but it is what it is guys. We got her to plus zero, but however Let's take her to a spin real quick. All right guys. Let's do it. Let's check this out because uh, <laughs> The interactions uh, the thing is that they chose here 
heroes here that really don't have uh, a lot of interactions with her. It's just random red heroes, let's be honest. Or they just added this heroes just to like uh, make them die and see the revival there. Yeah, th that, that's what they're going for here. So you saw that. So every single time that a shield is added to a to a hero that already has the shield on, uh, it's gonna do that counter attacking thing. So I'm gonna show you now. Let me save a few here. Boom. So every single turn, a new shield comes up. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. That that's a revival. We didn't get the hundred percent HP because that would be too OP in that situation. But hundred percent mana right off the bat there. So very powerful stuff, guys. Let's see. So I would love to have... Uh, if they would have put Agony here, this would have been insane. But then they wouldn't be able to revive. So, yeah. That's what they want, really want to show there in that situation. Boom. <laughs> so remember that since she's a slow hero, you're going to... If you're using her on the attack, you're going to want to save this and make this uh, realm up as much as possible. Because all of her abilities are around her realm in that situation. And on defense, I probably would want to like uh, put another hero um, uh, to actually add mana there. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So pretty much, uh, I definitely wouldn't need that in that situation. All right. So they're 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 showing like when when the shields gets broken here. So adding the shields and boom, that counter. I want to see that slowly. Let me do it a little later here. All right. So. Let me activate here. I want to see the counter attack slowly here. Check this out. So, turn pass. Okay, shield's broken. Gain the extra damage. And now, since the shield got uh, new here, that's why it didn't activate. However, I'm adding shields right now. So, every single one, boom, adding there. So, I wonder if, if these counter attacks will actually uh, crit uh, if she has 100% crit here. Hmm. That would be interesting to see for sure. I, de I definitely need to test that out. I do really need one to, to test her on, on attack a lot more. But the thing is that since I have her at plus zero, there's not a lot of options, sadly, in that situation. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let's try to finish this off here. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. There we go. So we're not even. Uh, we, we okay. I'll show you, but th this is not realistic in that situation because all none of these heroes do actual damage in that situation. So uh, I'm gonna. We'll talk about a little bit more here. Like for example, her weapon. We definitely need to talk about her weapon. Her weapon is is nice. It's very good. Uh, gain shield equal to 25% of mass HP or 50% for three turns when casting the skill. So the thing is that she's, since she's a slow hero, she's not going to go off as much as you w would want her to in that situation. So unless you have an actual way to make her go off uh, more, uh, this is going to be problematic. But... Remember, guys, there is a way in that situation to actually make her go off even more. And we're going to now to her faction. And I am going there. I'm going there. Since she is an Asgard hero, you're able to add Director N to your purple, uh, to your red team. And she is going to pretty much go in off every f three freaking turns. So if you plan to use Director N with her on the team, the weapon is going to be pretty useful in that situation because she's going to get a bunch of shields. She's going to put the realm and the entire team over and over and over again. So that's really powerful stuff, guys. Because remember that the best way to actually uh, beat enemies from stunning you, like agony, enemy agonies, is having a realm hero activate as much as possible. And uh, that interaction with Director N and her is... <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to try out like that on defense for sure. So in that respect, you are able to use this weapon specifically. Because you're going to get 50% shields for her. And the refinement bonus is, is usually pretty boring. However, in her case, since 
all her the shield that she creates is based on her HP. Her weapon has a really high HP just because of that specific reason. So additional having 15% um, HP addition to that is going to help her create even more shields on top of that in that situation. So in that respect, it is recommended if you're not going to use her in that way, uh, you're, you're going to have to use like Bastet to actually add mana uh, in that situation. Now, I'm not really sure about using Bastet on defense. It's not impossible, but in a mono red team, it, it could be more relevant than I'm saying. But I really like the idea of Director and making her go off over and over and over again. Uh, however, if you don't want to use this weapon and you don't want to have Director and Bastet or whatever, the other two options that I would probably re uh, recommend is Arthur's, King Arthur's uh, weapon there. Because when enemies see this hero, they're going to want to kill her as soon as possible. So uh, they're going to try to hit, kill her, break the shields, and when that happens, she's going to get that mana gain that she really needs to actually go off over and over and over again as much as possible. So, uh, if you have her plus 5 in that situation, I highly recommend to get author weapon for her, for her if you don't plan what I already explained. If she's not plus 5, I highly recommend to give her Gunnold's weapon. Gunnold's weapon is going to give her shields over and over and over again uh, without her even going off. So that's going to be very useful for her to actually uh, get the weapon that she, get the shield that she actually needs in that situation. So those are my thoughts for the weapons there. So uh, let's go back here. All right, guys. So sadly, I don't have any footage for her this time around. Uh, however, I am still searching. I'm still finding that <laughs> that that person, that person that that is a brave soul that's finally gonna put her on defense and gonna give a, a good showing for her because I know that she is going to be an amazing hero on defense. For sure, she's very powerful on defense in that situation. However, do I think if she's a must-have? It's the the thing is that that this type this hero is very very specific because she's gonna work excellent in a mono red team. So if you really really want to use a mono red team, especially on defense, she is definitely a must-have for you specifically. If you really want to do a very powerful uh, shield team, because she can fit in a shield team for sure she definitely is an option for you as well reviving reviving a hero that is a shield hero remi imagine reviving Haroth. that is so freaking annoying <laughs> any hero on the, on the shield team getting revived is freaking annoying so yeah uh if you if you really want to use that type of team on defense she is a must-have for you but outside of that i don't think she's a must-have for other people for now i still have to keep testing i still need to See a lot of things. Get some answers from the developers. Come on! <laughs> uh, for, for Awakening Cell recommendations, I definitely recommend to get her to plus one. The thing is, obviously, getting the, the 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 realm here activated right out the bat is super important. But adding this here opens up the the ability for her to be used on the attack uh, and protecting your heroes and things like that. So th this will raise her her the damage dealt a lot more than in, in that situation. If you're a, a powerful defense team on war and you really want to have your team survive a lot more, even though you have 10 stacks, you got to get this plus three. And that's in that situation, I highly recommend to get the plus three. I definitely want to get this the plus three for sure <laughs> in that situation. And the plus five, I mean, ugh. I, I, I can't even watch it. I, I, now I want to plus five. The, damn, I got it. Come on. Come on. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> so this plus five is really powerful, guys. This will help her survive a lot more. And uh, adding 100% shields, if she dies, adding 100% shields to the entire freaking team is so annoying. You have no idea, guys. So th that's opened up the ability for her to get the, the life back and all that stuff. So, yeah, very, very scary stuff in that situation. On defense. On defense, guys, for sure. All right, guys. Oh, well, let's talk about badges real quick here. Her, for her is adding 12% uh, shield supply when battle begins. Uh, a lot of people that I've spoken to in the past say, oh, this is not very impressive and all that, blah, blah, blah. But what I, I've, I have it on Apollo, and this adding 12% uh, shield applied, this pretty much means that 
every single time that she creates shields, on top of what she was already creating, she's going to add 12% more. So this is much more powerful than you can imagine. The, um, the, ever since my Apollo has this ability, uh, he, has, he creates a lot more shields than he would usually on, his, on himself in that situation. I haven't seen on other heroes, but on himself, yeah, th that, is not, that is no joke, guys. So don't be afraid to actually upgrade three uh, five-star badges to get this 12% because this, this is more powerful than you can imagine, guys, for sure. All right, guys, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you think I made a mistake, please leave it in the comments and we'll talk about it. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.